Hello, 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 and welcome. So glad to have you guys joining us. Who's with me now, ready to play some trivia? Let's take a look. Have some of my friends arrived already? Oh, I hope so. Last time around, our audio wasn't working, but should be all set this time. Let me know if you can hear me. Can you hear me well? I hope so, I hope so. We've got one and a half minutes until the game begins. All right, we have a few people with us. Let me know if you're hearing me. Can you hear me now? Hello, hello. Some of my colleagues must be here. I see CEFL says hello. Hi, Daniel, thanks for joining us. Can you hear me? Please say yes. If not, I'll try to fix it in the next one minute. Can you hear me? Oh, hooray. Excellent, so get ready to play. You should know some of the answers to these questions. There'll be a lot about animals and some of them have even been featured in our recent videos. Hooray, welcome back, Aaliyah. You were the champion last time. I know you'll be the champion again this time. Hi, Candy, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Put your thinking caps on. It's gonna be a fun game. Lots of fun facts about animals. You know, we teach using National Geographic at Cambridge English for Life. And so a lot of these fun facts come directly from Nat Geo Learning. It makes learning English so much fun. All right, are you ready for the countdown? 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ready, set, go. Here's our first question. What is the first thing a caterpillar usually eats after it's born? Hmm. Does it eat its own shell? Does it eat some leaves? Does it drink its mother's milk? Or does it eat bugs? Please put your answer, the number and the words in the comments and we'll see who got it correct. Who's got the right answer? Which one is it? Do you think it's one, two, three, or four? Oh, let's see. Let's see who's got it right. I think we didn't have very many answers on time. Let's see. That's all right. We'll catch it in the next round if we didn't catch it this round. Mm, the computer is thinking, thinking. And our winners are? And our winners are, gosh, it's computing awfully slowly. Yay, three of you got it correct. Yes, a caterpillar eats its own shell after it's born. Pretty gross. All right, ready for another question? It's starting in 10, nine, eight. There we go, oh, it started. A carnivorous animal eats flesh. What does a nucivorous animal eat? Do you know that word? Or can you guess what that word might mean? That's a word I'd never seen before. But let's see if you can get it right. What do you think? Olivia, do you know the answer? Aaliyah, I know you know the answer. And welcome, Nikki. Quick, quick answer. What do you think a nuciferous animal eats? Mm, I have such a hard time saying your name. I'm going to try. Drisha Yashini. Drisha Yashini. You think it's number four. Let's see if you're right. The answers are coming soon. Is it nuts? We'll see. We'll see who knew the right answer. Ah, a few of you think nuts, and there's a vote for seaweed? Would help if we knew an a animal that is nuciferous. Ah, it's nuts. I'll bet squirrels are nuciferous then. All right, next question coming up in seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. I was too fast. I'm ready. Tell us the next one. Which of these animals is not nocturnal? Nocturnal means that they're awake in the nighttime, right? So which one of these prefers to be awake in the daytime? It's not nocturnal. The koala, the squirrel, the bat, or the owl? I like questions that are multiple guests because I know one or two of those likes to stay awake at night. I've seen them and heard them in the nighttime. But now that I have it narrowed down to two others, which one could it be? Hmm, do you think you know the answer? Tell me if you do. Oh, Lois thinks it's number two. Please put the word next to it in addition to the number so that the question knows that you are on the right one. Cynthia says it's a squirrel. Candy says it's a squirrel and so does Lois. I think you ladies are correct. Let's see. The computer is thinking, 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 and yes, yes. And those of you who thought it was the koala, I wasn't sure about that one either. It was a tricky, tricky question, but they are also nocturnal. I wish I'd ever seen one in real life so I knew. All right, next question. Are we ready? What color is a polar bear's skin? What color is a polar bear's skin? Now we have featured this fun fact on our webpage before. Do you know what it is? Let us know. Remember, don't just write the number, write the word as well. Is it white, black, pink, or green? What color is the polar bear's skin? You've got just a few seconds left. Put your best guesses there. Oh, we've got a variety of answers. Let's see who's right. What do you think? A few of you thought it was white. A few of you thought it was black. I'll give you a little hint. It is not the same color as his fur. Very surprisingly. And we're soon to have the answer. Let's see who knew what it was. All right, all right. Oh, someone's sad they didn't have the right answer. Have a wow factor. The color is, oh my goodness, everyone knew this one. I'm so impressed. You're right, the answer is black. Yes, a polar bear's skin under that white fur is black. Well done, everyone. Next question, are you ready? Here it comes. Cashmere, ooh, so fancy, is the wool from which kind of animal? Have you ever had a cashmere sweater? I've had one before. They're super, super soft. But which animal did it come from? Did it come from the sheep, a camel, the llama, or a goat? I think this is a really tough one to know. I wonder if you guys know the answer. What animal provides cashmere? Sheep, camel, llama, goat. So funny that llama has two L's in its name, right? All right, tell me which one you think it is. Oh, we have a few guesses for goat. Who else has a guess? Oh, more guesses for goat. The goat is quite popular. Let's see. We're about to have the answer. Let's see, were you right? Do you think it was a goat? I think you might be right, actually. Goats, goats, goats. And a vote for camel. It is the goat. Excellent job to all of you who got goat. All right, the next question is coming soon. Are you ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Next question. How many kilograms does a giraffe's heart weigh? Does he have a big heart or a small heart? How many kilograms do you think it weighs? Does it weigh 11 kilograms? Does it weigh two kilograms, 22 kilograms, 
four, eight. Tell me, tell me, how many kilograms does a giraffe's heart weigh? I'd like to know a comparison for how many kilograms his brain weighs, but we don't have that fun fact today, just about the heart. So lots of you seem to think that it is 11 kilograms. Let's see, the computer is thinking, thinking, thinking. Are you right? Is it 11? Let's take a look at who knew the correct answer. Oh, someone else says 20, but that wasn't a choice, so I don't think it's 20. All right, come on, give us the answers. We want to know who got it right. Wow, lots of different thoughts about this one. The correct answer is 11 kilograms. The giraffe has a big heart. Oh, so nice. All right, let's look to another fun fact. Are you ready? Next question. What is a rhino's horn made of? What is a rhino's horn made of? Do you know? Is it made from bone or from keratin or from ivory or from skin? This is a bit of a tricky question. Let's see if you know the answer. What do you think? Wild guess. Give it a wild guess. What do you think that a rhino's horn is made of. Tell me, tell me what you think. Oh, we have a vote for keratin, another a vote for ivory, another vote for keratin. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see who was right. I know a few of you definitely had this one right. Let's see. Let's see how many of you did. Another vote for ivory. That would be very valuable, right? We try not to buy things made of ivory because they take the ivory from tusks. But the rhino's horn is made of keratin. Now you know. All right, let's look to another fun fact in five, four, three, two, one, go. The next question is, for what reason would a spotted hyena laugh? Ha, 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 ha. Do you remember the laughing hyenas from Lion's King? What makes them laugh? Do you know what makes them laugh? Is it excitement, nervousness, aggression, or exhaustion? Sometimes I laugh out of exhaustion. Sometimes I laugh when I shouldn't because I'm just too tired to hold my laughter in. Is that the case for a hyena as well? Or is it just so excited? Oh my gosh, I'm laughing. Or I'm so angry, I'm laughing. Let's see. The answer is coming soon. Let's see. Some of you think it's nervousness. Let's see. Who knows? And where's our answer? Lots of you think it's nervousness. Some think it's aggression. Hmm, it's almost 50-50, it looks like. Let's see who the correct answers were. Should be coming up any second now. Ah, only two of you got it right. Congratulations to Aaliyah and Ozzy. Yes, it is nervous. When it's nervous, it laughs. <laughs> okay, next question is coming up now. All right. Which of these big cats cannot roar? Can the lion roar? Can the tiger roar? Can the leopard roar? And can the cheetah roar? One of these cannot. I really thought they all could. But which one cannot actually roar? I want to hear your roar. I wish I could hear your roar. If you're roaring, give me the wow sign. Wow, wow, wow. All right, answer is coming soon. Which one did you think it was? Some of you thought it was the cheetah. 
Oh, several of you thought it was the cheetah. Let's see. Let's see if you're right. One of them cannot. And I'll be honest, I can't remember which one it was. I'm pretty sure the lion roars tonight. So it couldn't be that one. But which one? Tiger, leopard, cheetah? Ah, it was the cheetah. The cheetah cannot roar. It tries, but it cannot. All right. Are you ready for another? You guys seem to have most of these answers right. I have no idea who will be the winner today. I think there will be many. So which of these species is not extinct? Extinct means they don't exist on the planet anymore, right? So which one of these still lives on the planet? Now, you have a little bit of an advantage because some of you may have actually seen this animal before. I'm not saying that you've seen it, you know, in your backyard or running across the street, but which one of these still exists? Sadly, three of them have gone extinct, but one of them lives on. Which one is it? We have, we have a vote for the Komodo dragon. Be sure to spell it. Be sure to spell it correctly if you want to get it right. Which one is it? Let's see. Lots of votes for the Komodo dragon because it's from this region, right? So people that are in Europe or in the Americas may not know that the Komodo dragon is still alive and kicking. All right. Most of you know it is the Komodo dragon. I didn't know some of those others were extinct. It's really sad, but I'm glad the Komodo dragons are still around and they're super cool. Though I hear they, they pack a mean bite. All right, ready for the next question. What is an opossum's self-defense method? What is an opossum's self-defense method? I wonder if there are opossums in this part of the world. I'm going to have to ask my best friend, Mr. Google, because I'm not sure if we have opossums here. Maybe, but I'm not sure what their habitat is. I will be doing some homework after we're done playing games. All right, so does an opossum shoot quills, play dead, spray a smelly chemical, or does it change color? What do you think? Lots of you think it, think it changes color. Oh, CK, you think it plays dead? Let's see. Let's see. It's, let's see. Aaliyah agrees that it plays dead. And the answer is coming soon. What does it do to avoid being eaten? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, everybody knew it plays dead. You're right, which is why we say someone is playing possum. You ever seen someone play possum pretending that they're dead? I think my little brother used to pretend he was dead when it was time to do the dishes. Definitely, he looked for any way to avoid. Oh, it's time for another. What is the fastest animal? Do you know what the fastest animal is? Do you think you know what the fastest animal is? Is it the golden eagle, the peregrine falcon, a cheetah? Or a horse fly? Hmm. Hmm. I have to think about that one. I think I know the answer. Do you? Let's see. This will be our final session for this trivia. We are repeating trivia because the audio wasn't working last time round. So we thought we'd play again. Now, someone says it's the peregrine falcon. Really? You think so? Ah, Lois says it's the cheetah. I think it's the cheetah. But lots of you think it's the peregrine falcon. And more votes for cheetah. Hmm, golden eagle, a vote for golden eagle. Let's see. Could be anything. I don't think anyone voted for the housefly, though. Poor housefly. Nobody believes in it. They just look to smash it. All right, let's see, let's see what the answer is. Oh, it is the peregrine falcon. See, it's kind of a tricky question 
because we often think of the fastest land animal, but really the fastest animal is the peregrine falcon. Now we know. All right, let's move on. Our next question is coming soon. Which of these animals cannot jump? One of these cannot jump. Can cows jump? Can elephants jump? Can giraffes jump? And can crocodiles jump? Which one of them cannot? Three of them can. So can you figure out which one of those cannot jump? Let's see. We have a vote for elephants. You think elephants cannot jump? I've definitely seen them dance around. I've even seen them do some art, uh, but I don't know if they can jump or not. I don't know. They're pretty big. Let's see. We're about to have some answers here. Oh, there's lots of you who think it's elephants. Really? All right. Well, we're going to find out really soon. We'll find out. It might be a unanimous vote on the elephants. Wow. Candy, Nikki, Ashley, you all say elephants. More votes for elephants. All right, let's see. Ah, finally a vote for the crocodiles. The crocodiles appreciate that vote, but it is the elephants. Elephants cannot jump. All right, are we ready? Let's count down again. Count with me, five, four, three, two, one. New question. What is the name of a male bee that comes from an unfertilized egg? Hmm, that's definitely one I didn't know the answer to. Do you know what is the name of the male bee that comes from an unfertilized egg? Is it a soldier, a drone, a worker bee, or queen bee? Well, it's multiple guests, and we might be able to rule out at least one of those. But of the other three, I don't know. Which one is it? All right, we have a vote for drone. I thought a drone was a really cool camera that flies up above, no? Is it also a bee, a male bee that comes from an unfertilized egg? A few of you seem to think so. Others think it's the worker bee. This is a tough one, I tell you. But we're about to have the answer. Let's see, let's see. What'll it be? It is the drone. It was a tricky one. We had a lot of different answers to this one, but it is the drone. Now you know he's a male bee that comes from an unfertilized egg and his job is to mate with the queen. All right, new question. Are we ready? This is the last question. What is the collective noun for crows? Now, some of you will have watched a video by Dr. Elsie and you'll know the word for this one. Do you know the collective noun for crows? If you have a whole bunch of crows together, what is that? Is it a flock, a swarm, a murder, or a herd? Let's see. Oh, we have a vote for murder. I thought murder was a crime. Are crows criminals? My goodness. Let's see. Most of you think it's a murder. Oh, wow. Is it a unanimous vote again? A lot of you think it's a murder. I think you might have watched very closely a lesson that we had on collective nouns. If you haven't, haven't yet, you really should because there are some funny words for collective nouns and you can learn some like the collective noun for crows is well done. It is a murder. And on that sinister note, our game is actually complete. So let's see who the winners were of our game today. Coming up very soon. All right, look there. Two games in a row. Congratulations, Aaliyah Jeffrey. You are the top winner. You got all 15 answers correct. I am so impressed. 
Are you one of our students, I wonder, or one of our teachers? It's hard to tell from your picture, but I'm curious how you know all 15. And a big shout out to 13 answers correct from Drisha Yashini, Elan Gavon. Wow, that name is tough for me to say. <laughs> But congratulations, 13 answers. And to Wopo10, also known as Candy, congratulations. You are also in the double digits with 10 correct answers. Those of you who didn't get as many, I want to say thank you to all of you for playing. And certainly, you can learn more fun facts about animals and the world through the National Geographic series that we use for teaching. We are the only ones in Malaysia allowed to teach from the Our World series of National Geographic's Learning English books, and they are fantastic. I've taught from these books before and absolutely loved it. I do hope you'll join us at Cambridge English for Life, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Thanks for playing. Congratulations. See you soon.